Movie clips also run independently without stopping, so we can use ActionScript on their timelines to control whether they stop or go. Here are our beginning and after flash movies, and we can see that the beginning movie continuously plays. Now the ending movie is already done playing, and since they are movie clips and there's no keyframes or any extra frames on the main timeline, we can't use the menu inside the flash player. So we'll close these real quickly, and I'll open the completed example, and just run test movie real quick and you can see how that just opens up and comes to a stop. So let's get our starting movie open. And we'll save it as a practice file. And let's examine what we have. First uh, we have one layer on the scene one timeline. It has two objects and I'm going to move the stage up here closer to the properties window and we'll open up the properties window and we click on each one of these we can see that the first object on the timeline is the circleized drawing movie clip and the second object is the same movie clip the difference is that one was flipped horizontally if we go to the library we can see inside the library we have two movie clips one's called circle I so we'll just open that briefly and circle I, you can see it has two layers, one for a pupil and one for the eye. And we'll take a look at the circle I growing movie clip. And we can see that that has a tween on it, an animation, and there's a tween. And the object on here is the circle I object. And we can actually see how that works. So let's test the movie and just see how it works. And we can see that the movie clips keep repeating themselves because there's no stop action on the last keyframe. So we'll close this window and down on our timeline we'll add a layer and we'll call that layer Action Script. And on the last frame, frame 60, we'll insert a keyframe. We'll use the shortcut key F6. And then I'll right mouse click and choose Actions. And in our script window, with the Script Assist button up or toggled off, what we'll do is we'll type in the action. It's the stop action. It's STOP with an open parentheses, close parentheses, and a semicolon to mark the end of the line. And that's all we need. If we now test the movie, we'll see that the movie clip ends on the final frame and down here on their timeline you'll notice that the 60th frame has an action on it now I'll go back to scene one just to get a perspective here on scene one we notice that there is no actions on the timeline so there are actions in the movie if we look in the actions window we'll see that it tells us there's a symbol circle I growing and there are some actions on frame 60 and we can actually go there in this navigation window to see the actual action of course the other way would be to open up the movie and then look at its timeline to see the actions okay so save that and you can see controlling the actions for a movie clip is simply opening the movie clip up adding a layer for your actions and putting in the actions you'll need to control the movie clip.